When you first get into personal development, there's this really easy temptation to read a tactic in a book or something that somebody shared on the internet and then try that, expecting it to really change your life. But no one really talks about the most fundamentally important tactic you ever do, which is really your ability to recognize hunches and the ability to trust yourself. So in this video, I wanna introduce a really fun challenge for you that'll do that. Hey guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. So I've included down there below is a free journaling worksheet. The journaling worksheet will help you plan out your best year ever, as well as how to reinvent your life and push it in a new direction that you really want it to go in. Check it out right there below the first link. So as we're continuing this 10 day personal development challenge, it would be impossible for me to talk about all these things that have helped me without talking about this simple principle. So it originated, as far as I know, with this guy named Derek Sivers who founded CD Baby. And he talks about this advice that a mentor gave him, which was basically that in these decisions in life, you get screwed in the little ones, the ones that are I don't knows or maybes. Like if you go on a date with someone and they're the worst person you've ever met, that's easily a no, so you can move on with your life. And when they're the most amazing person you've ever met, that's obviously a hell yes, or a fuck yes, as he says. So that's easy to move on with. But what happens when they're in the middle? You're like, I don't know, I love some things, I don't love some things. That in the middle is what kills you in life. That in the middle, that ambivalence is what prevents you from taking action on that move, dating that person, or starting that business. So how do you get rid of the middle? You break every decision artificially into a no or a hell yes. And if it's in the middle, that's a no. Now this is so crazy important because you'll learn that, like I learned, the businesses that I started, the friends that I hung out with, the women that I dated, the travels I decided to go on, the ones that were hell yeses turned out to be amazing peak experiences of my life. And the ones that were I don't knows to straight up no, but I forced myself to do it anyway, were not necessarily regrets, but they didn't work out that well compared to the things that were 100% hell yeses. Now the point of this whole hell yes or no thing is you're training yourself to recognize your gut instincts. Your gut is the thing that's gonna tell you hell yes or no. It's not gonna be your mind, it's not gonna be what your mom or your dad said, some opinion that your friend had. It's really gonna be training yourself to be attuned to when your gut feels excitement for something. So that you stop looking for the external things. You don't look for the jobs, you don't look for the people, you look for what elicits that feeling of excitement, which is an internal thing and is not something external. And once you begin to recognize that in the little things in life, maybe this is the meal I wanna eat now that my stomach really wants, not my mind. Maybe the trip right now, this is what my spirit needs to feel better. Maybe this job is pays less, but I know it's gonna really lead me to where I wanna be, or that's what feels good, that's what excites me. When you begin to attune yourself to that, you can easily start recognizing your gut instincts a lot quicker. So I want you, for this challenge, to come up with your hell yes list. I honestly would do this for as long as you can endure it. I mean, it's a fun challenge. If you decide that's for one day, great. If you decide that's for 100 days, that's great too. But try doing only what is the most exciting, fun, hell yes thing in these following categories, all right? What do you really wanna be doing every day in the first hour of your day? What do you wanna be eating for each of your meals of the day? What time do you wanna get up if you can afford to control your sleep-wake schedule? How do you wanna spend your day from nine to five? How do you wanna spend your weekend? Where do you wanna travel? What do you wanna work on? What do you wanna wear every day? How do you wanna arrange every single room where you live? So really, for most people, it's most practical to start on a Saturday or a Sunday morning and just begin. What is the most fun and exciting first hour of the day? Maybe it's at a coffee shop, drinking coffee, writing down goals, and pondering your life. Maybe it's in a fitness class, or maybe it's hiking, or maybe it's with someone you really love. Figure out what that is that makes you feel hell yes, and then do it for at least one whole day. Now this inner hell yes begins to become the compass for your life. Because then you can internally recognize I don't know why I feel this is a no, but I feel this is a no. You start to be really closely attuned to how you actually feel. Because a lot of us, unfortunately, really forget 
how we feel on a daily basis. And so you go on a date and you say, I don't know why I'm ambivalent, I don't know, but I can't go forward. Or you recognize it right away in the grocery line, you meet someone and you're, something is firing off, it's a hell yes. And then you decide to talk to them. You begin to recognize this in the little things, like what to eat, and in the big things, like where to move, or should I make that move right now? And eventually, you've trained your compass for what to do, when, and how to do it, and you don't need to rationalize why. All you know is that if it is a hell yes, there is some intuitive or gut kind of resonance that is saying, this is the green light, now do the work. So that's your mission. It's a fun one, and it's an easy one, but I dare you to try it for at least one weekend day and see just how awesome life is in terms of how you really feel. So before you go, click the first link below. It's for a free journaling worksheet that can help you plan out your hell yes or your no challenge. It'll also help you plan on how to reinvent your life and script it going forward in the way that you want. It's the first link below, and then before you go, check out this related video right here. <laughs>